Yay. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hopping on on Tuesday night. I know there's so many other things that you guys could be doing right now. Um, if you are on, I can't see who's on unless you go into the chat section, which I would love for you guys to chat and just tell me your name and where you're from and what kind of business you're in and why you're interested in knowing how to build a business on social media. If you have any questions for me, please ask it in the Q and A section. If I'm unable to get to it tonight, trust me, I will answer it um, on my Insta stories for you guys. Okay. Uh, hi, Kim. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Jen. Oh, I got another Sarah. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Angelique. Yay. All right, you guys. So we're going to go right into this. Um, hi, Marnie. You're with Isogenics. Awesome. Oh, Katie Perry. I like your name. Tasha. <laughs> She's in the aesthetics business. Tasha, she does my face. See ya, girl. Um, oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. There's so many amazing people on. I'm going to go through and make sure to um, see everybody that's on later, but please, as you're hopping on, uh, say hi. If you know that you had friends that were going to hop on this, uh, make sure to just send them a reminder and tell them to hop on this. Okay, so we're going to get started. First thing I want you to do is if you do not have a notebook out, please grab a notebook real quick so you guys can take mad notes. I decided to not use any PowerPoint because I feel like uh, then you guys don't pay attention and I want you guys to be paying attention. I'm going to tell you real life stories. I'm going to share with you how I have literally 10x my business in the last couple months from doing social media and all that good stuff, okay? So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about me if you guys are you don't know who I am and you're hopping on this webinar. Um, basically, my story goes like this. I was a burnt out ER nurse at 23 years old, so young. And I was introduced to network marketing with Isogenics. I built a business basically all using social media. I had no experience whatsoever and I've become a self-made millionaire. Um, from network marketing. All the capital I've made from that business has allowed me to create other businesses to really create true wealth for my family. And I have three little kids. I'm married to Chase Craft. And I am so passionate about helping you guys learn how to market yourself online because I know that there is so much, so much uh, money to be made. And it's not all about money, but it's about impact. And I know some of you guys are not doing what you need to do online because you're looking at other people and you're saying, well, that person's already done it, so I don't need to do it. There's not room for me to do it. And that's what I want to squash tonight. I want you guys to know there is room for all of you guys to have success online because you, your power is you. And that's the number one tip I want you to take away, okay, from this is you've got to know who you are, know who your identity is, know what your brand is and stand rooted in that. And when you know that, know this, that you're so different than every other person out there on the planet that's building a business online. You're different, okay? And you have a different story to share. You have a different message to give the world and you have to own it and really dig deep into what your story is and what, how you're going to impact people and get very, very, very clear. Get very crystal clear on what your message is to the world and how your story is going to impact lives. And, um, you know, I used to build a business online where, you know, I'm just selling a product and not being vulnerable at all. And trust me, that works. You can make easy copy and paste posts and you'll make a little bit of money. Okay, you will. You know, I made a six figure income from it. But if you're looking for real, real freedom in your life, then you have got to dig deeper. You have got to dig deeper than that, okay? And uh, I'm all nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, probably because it's my first time doing a, a training like this to people outside of isogenics, but um, I'm just so excited to be here. I, what I want you guys to come across uh, with tip number one is be unapologetic in who you are. And what I mean by this is, you know, just a week ago, I made a post on Instagram and... Uh, it was about being a mom. And I said, you know, if you just took a shower today, that's like not enough. 
Like you're, you can do more than that mama. And because I feel like there's this trend going on right now with moms that like my hashtag mom life is so hard. And like, Oh my God, I just took a shower today. And I just had to say it because it's like really annoying. And I'm like, moms, like you can do more. Like your kids don't run your life. You run the show, not your kids. And so I just made a post. I lost followers that day and I gained, I think I gained 300 followers that day just from that post. Um, and I, there are analytics and uh, different apps that will help you keep track of that if you want to. I don't follow it too closely, but um, I did notice that because I wanted to see what would happen. And the thing was, is I didn't care because I know who I am. I know that I am going to bring my lifers on, which there's probably a lot of you guys that are watching this webinar right now that are my lifers. You guys are, you know, you love my message and you're loyal to me and you love what I have to say and you're on the same mission as me, right? And then there's going to be people that I absolutely will repel, right? They cannot stand my glamness and, you know, my fabulosity and like how I'm just going to be like real black and white, you know, and say it like it is. Kind of just, this is how it is. I don't sugarcoat it. A lot of people hate that. And I'm okay with repelling those people. But when you are building a business online, this is the number one thing you need to know. When you know who you are and you love who you are, who gives a rip what anybody else thinks? And it took me so much time to get to that point, you guys. Like it took me way too many years. And I don't want it to take you guys that long. Um, because you can let people on social media, like the haters and the trolls, get to you. And I don't want that to happen to you. There's always going to be people talking about you. Give them something to talk about, okay? So know who you are. And when you decide to make your post, don't be Switzerland, okay? So have an opinion. And you may have heard in some of your network marketing companies, because they want you to enroll everybody, right? Like, you know, or in your business, you think that, you know, everybody is your customer. Well, when you build a business like that, you actually get burnt out. And I did get burnt out in my business because I was just attracting all the wrong people because I was willing to work with everybody. And now I'm not. I'm very specific in who I work with. And I know exactly what I want. And I attract the right people into my life now um, because I'm very, like, I stand firm in who I am. Okay, and I want you guys to do the same thing. Stand firm in who you are and don't be Switzerland. If you stand for something, if you're a Christian, be a Christian, you know, and like say Jesus in your post. If you're not a Christian and you love the universe, then say the universe. You know what I mean? But like, don't try to like be politically correct because guess what? You're going to have all these people that are just lukewarm about you. You're not going to have your lifers. You're not going to have those people that literally get you like and will go to war for you. Okay. Um, and that's what you want. So when you're Switzerland, you're not going to have those people. You know, if you make one wrong move, those people are going to unfollow you and not ever buy from you. And those are probably people that just watch you anyway, you know, but when you stand for something, you're going to have your ride or dies. You are, you will. So, and I've noticed that so much lately and I'm so thankful for all my ride or dies. You know who you are. Um, and if you don't feel the love for me yet, please just DM me and you'll feel the love real quick. <laughs> Second tip is this, okay? And this is the most important thing. I think, I don't know, these three things are just the most important thing, really. Know your avatar. And because you guys hopped on this webinar, you're actually gonna be the first people to get my um, avatar questionnaire that's coming out on Monday. So you guys are special. You guys are gonna be the first people to get it. And you actually had to get on this webinar to get it first. It's gonna be in your hands, all for free, just because you love me and you hopped on. <laughs> Uh, so knowing your avatar and I've done a Facebook live about this, but I'm going to go and just to detail really quick. I don't care what kind of business you're in for every different type of business you have. You're going to have a different avatar. Okay. So for my isogenics business, I have one avatar and her name is Ashley for my mommy millionaire business. I have a completely different avatar and guess what her name is. You ready? It's Melissa. <laughs> Melissa is my best friend. So I just named my new avatar, Melissa. <laughs> And they are very different, okay? So um, know that if you're building different businesses, hopefully, and I'm just gonna say this side note, do not try to build two network marketing businesses. It's never gonna work, never, okay? But if you're building a traditional business and you're building a network marketing business, you need to have different avatars, okay? Avatar is this, and you're gonna get a questionnaire that's gonna help you really go into detail with this, but you have to know who your target customer is so that way you can make posts for that exact person. Okay. And again, this is going to repel the wrong people away from you because you're making posts just for your avatar. 
and you're going to start to attract the right people into your business. So I want you guys just to write down really quick, you know, what are you passionate about? What are your hobbies? What do you love to talk about? What are some causes that you could get behind? You know, I have um, one of my friends, her name is Kristen. She's my eyelash girl and my eyebrow girl. She's amazing. And uh, she actually has her own perfume line too. She's building two businesses. And she uh, is, so, I mean, I didn't even know about sex trafficking until she told me about it. She is huge in getting the word out about sex trafficking. And she spends so much of her time helping women rehabilitate from um, getting out of their, or their sex trafficking victims. And she spends so much time doing that. So if you go and look at her social media, she talks a ton about it. And she has attracted some amazing people that follow along for her journey um, because she stands for that. Okay. Um, so talk about the causes that you're passionate about. And if you're, you know what your avatar is passionate about, you know, no. And usually you'll see this when you make your avatar, your first one will probably be exactly like you, especially if you're in network marketing, it's probably going to be an exact version of you, but it's good to write it out. So that way you always have content to post because this is the thing. When you know your avatar, you will know what problems to solve for them. So you'll know what products they need. You'll know what services they need because you know how to solve their problem. And the thing about this on social media, you guys, is you're not selling a product. You're not just selling a product. Okay. So I, I don't ever want to see you guys post to be like, buy this. It's so lame. You're selling the solution to their problems. Okay. So always be selling how you can be a solution in their life in whatever way, shape or form. So my friend Tasha over here, she's one of my dearest friends and she is an amazing aesthetic nurse. If you guys are ever in California, you need to come see her. She's incredible at what she does. She's very, very educated. And she's probably, I don't know. I think she's like the number one nurse in our city for this. She's very sought after. Okay. So if you go to her social media, you'll see her amazing before and after photos. And she's putting herself out there, you know, all the time sharing. You know, she's always doing Insta stories about doing another facial today. And she's the most sought after nurse in Bakersfield, you guys, because she's putting herself out there and getting new clients. New clients want to come to her all the time. She knows who her avatar is. You know, she knows what problem she solves for people. She wants to make people feel amazing. She wants to make people feel beautiful. And so many people struggle with self-esteem issues. She's sharing here, here's something we can do to help it and make you feel better about this problem. You know, one time I saw that she had a, a somebody helped, she helped somebody with a, that needed a nose job. She fixed it with filler. And that person feels 10 times better about themselves because of what Tasha did for them. You know? So, um, she's always selling the problem. She's not going on there and saying, I've never once seen her say Botox, $10 a unit. Never, ever. Like she's not that girl but she's showing them results, you know, like here, you want it, you have a little, you know, low lip. Let me show you how I can make your lips bigger. Let me show you how we can get the wrinkles out of your, you know, forehead, because I know that that causes people problems with self-esteem, you know, and that's what you need to be thinking about. Okay. How can I sell the problem that I solve constantly be showing people my avatar, Ashley, she's a busy mom. She has three kids too. She's a nurse down in San Diego. And um, she is wanting to be healthy. She's a fitness freak, right? But she doesn't have time to meal prep. She just doesn't have time for it, you know, but she wants to eat healthy and she wants to make sure her family is getting all these amazing nutrients. So I am constantly showing Ashley on my social media, how easy it is to feed all three of my kids their shakes for breakfast and how my kids are obsessed with them and how I don't have to worry anymore if they're getting their nutrients, you know, with all their other stuff that they're eating throughout the day. I know that if they get that little shake in their body, that they're going to be filled up. And so I'm constantly showing that. I don't care if it's the same story all the time because Ashley, when Ashley sees it, she's going to be ready. She's going, Oh, that's the solution I need. That's what I need. I'm such a busy mom. I just need that 30 second breakfast for my kids. I'm yes, I'm ready. Right. I just had that happen last week because I posted a picture of, or just on Sunday, I posted a picture of Channing. He had just ate a shake and he loved it. And he had actually just made it himself. So I'm constantly showing them that's the problem I solve. You need, you need healthy meals and you need them fast. That's the problem I solve. Okay. So think about what problems you solve and that's what you need to be sharing constantly. Don't be sharing too much information and be salesy. Okay. Uh, next thing is this. <laughs> 
And this is, you know, out of every, all that other stuff matters, but if you don't do this, none of it counts, okay? And this, the, the third thing is this, you have to be consistent and congruent, okay? So if your brand is, you know, can somebody just in the chat button really quick, tell me what your brand is so I can give a good example, but you have to be consistent, okay? So if you are on Instagram right now building a business, if you post on Monday and then don't post on Friday, you're losing engagement because of the way that the Instagram algorithm works. It's the same thing with Facebook, okay? You have got to post every 24 hours or you're starting to lose engagement, okay? And uh, it's empowering women, okay, isogenics. Okay, so if, if my brand is empowering women, then I'm always going to be consistent and that is my message. So... I'm never ever, if I'm empowering women, I'm never going to talk bad about women on, on my social media, right? I'm always gonna be lifting other people up. I'm going to be very consistent in shouting out other women. So doing like a follow Friday, I'm always gonna be consistent in you know, collaborating with other women. And I'm gonna be consistent online and offline. So people are gonna see that, you know, it, I'm the same Kayla on my Insta stories as I am when you see me in real life. That's just who I am, okay? getting millennials out of the cubicle. So you're always going, if you're getting millennials out of the, cu the cubicle, your brand is, is what? Your brand is constantly showing them that there is a better way, right? And you're not gonna, you know, you can be vulnerable and say that you have hard days, but you always wanna show them that your way is better, that your way is better, of showing them the time freedom that you have and you know the autonomy that you have working from home. You can always say that it's hard, you're not going to lie to them and say that it's easy, right? And show them that you can have bad days, but your bad days are better than the bad days in the cubicle. You know what I mean? And be very consistent with that and be congruent on all of your platforms. Make sure you're saying the same message on all of them. You may talk to your audience different. I know I talk to people different on Facebook than I do on Instagram because it's a different following I have. And so, but you want to make sure the same message, the same theme is coming through in all your platforms. Okay. So if you're saying you're, you're getting millennials out of the cubicle uh, to have that time freedom on Instagram, but then you're a party girl on Facebook, it's not congruent because you're not really showing that you're working for what you have, right? Your brand can absolutely change, develop, or grow as your life develops. I absolutely 100% encourage you to be always reinventing yourself. There should always be another level you're going to. Like that's what I'm in the process right now is reinventing who Kayla Craft is because it was it's completely different than what it was a year ago. Health and wellness guru is going out the door. Totally reinventing business coach. Boom, boom, boom. Like it's totally like going on fire and it, complete reinvention, right? Um, I mean, not really because I've been doing it for a long time, but I'm like going on steroids. Like this is who I am now. So absolutely, and I think it's boring if you don't reinvent yourself. So I think that's a really good question. Uh, another thing I wanted to share with you guys, tip, write this down. If you don't have a Facebook business page, please create a Facebook business page. Uh, we have gone through several uh, social media trainings just recently, and I'm sending my team to one in, uh, actually it's next weekend, down in San Diego. They're going for uh, a four day event, learning everything that we need to know about social media, and they're gonna be bringing it back to the Mommy Millionaire. Um, team and mommy millionaire inner circle and we're gonna be sharing everything but what you need to know about Facebook business page is that Facebook is honestly going to um, become a uh, it's it's gonna be like a TV it's gonna be bigger than YouTube you guys so if you don't have a Facebook business page you're unable to boost your posts and uh, it's just it's you're never gonna be able to do ads it's very smart that you get a business page because then you can make your Instagram, okay, follow me on this. You have a Facebook business page, then you can make your Instagram a business profile, okay? And why you want your Instagram to be a business profile is so you can see all of the insights. You can see um, how many times people click on your link um, and what time your followers are more likely on, what time is the best time to post. It'll share with you all the analytics of where your followers are from, how old they are, their income level, everything, okay? And the nice thing about uh, doing this on Facebook, Facebook owns Instagram, but the nice thing about Facebook is you can target ads very, very specifically. So if you are a health and wellness coach with Isagenix, 
you're still going to post all the time on your personal page. You're still going to use that thing constantly, right? But you're going to maybe do a Facebook live video on your personal page to reach those people. And then you're going to upload that video to your Facebook public page. So that's your fan page, right? And you can pay to play with your Facebook boosting on the business page. Okay. Let's say I want to invest $10. And I have a really great video sharing with people three reasons why you need to get out of your cubicle. Okay, so here's three reasons why you need to get out of your cubicle. It's a great video. You got it transcribed from rev.com. So it's telling people what you're saying across the screen. So they don't even need to have their sound on. And you're boosting that post for $10 for one day. And you can reach, if you get very, very specific on who your target audience is, you can reach, I mean, I just did one yesterday for the webinar and I reached um, 10,000 people who were be making between the um, range of 70,000 a year and 90,000 a year and were interested in entrepreneur. They, they like the entrepreneur and they like Forbes on Facebook and they're a woman that is 35. So I got very targeted in on that and they're also college graduates. So, I mean, you can get very specific on who you want to meet. So if you know who your avatar is, then you can target them on Facebook and there's a, uh, I don't know, a lot of people that are using Facebook, that's the most used social media platform out there, okay? So, is a group okay, or it has to be a page? It has to be a page, okay? It has to be a business page. And what you can do, which is really nice, is now you can have a group that is linked to your Facebook business page. That's right there. So I have one that says, what are you eating? And it's just to get people into the group so I can see who's really engaged with that with that page. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not really using the Facebook business page a lot at all, except to boost posts. And they're just posts that I've used on Instagram or videos that I've repurposed that I've done Facebook lives with or done on Insta story. Okay. Um, so hopefully that makes sense <laughs> with all of you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, please ask right now, cause I'm not going to um, keep you, uh, for much longer than uh, 10 more minutes. But number one, know who you are and be unapologetic about it. Two is know your avatar. And you guys will be getting a questionnaire to help you fill that out because you guys got on this webinar, okay? And three is be consistent and congruent. Four is you have to get, um, I added a bonus one in there, you have to make a business page. Are there tutorials on how to link? I'm gonna answer this right now. Uh, it, are there tutorials on how to link it? on how to link your um, Facebook page to your Instagram page? Yes, literally just go to YouTube and Google it. It takes 30 seconds. I, I would show you on here, but it, it won't show you because it's gonna be backwards. It's very, very easy to do. And it's completely free to create a Facebook page and it's completely free to have your Instagram be a business profile, which is nice. So get in and get that done because who knows what's gonna happen when they start charging. Um, what are your th thoughts on an older market? You would be surprised so many people that are older are on Facebook and uh, on Instagram and on YouTube and some are even on Snapchat. So if that, if your, if your target avatar is online on Facebook and they're, you know, over 65 years old, you can target them, but you have to have a Facebook business page because they will literally make sure that the 65 and up range are going to be seeing your posts. So that's why it's so smart to know that. Uh, okay, let me ask it. Let me answer this other question. You don't have to share your business Facebook page on uh, your friend with your other friends, but why wouldn't you? People want to help you. I would absolutely share um, to your personal page and have them share your page. And like on mine, it says manages Kayla Craft. So people can link right there to my business page and see it. And like on Chase's, his, man, his says that he manages mine too. So people can see that business page as well. Uh, so you're very new to network marketing, but I have wanting, been wanting to make my social media more appealing and increase my following. Did you work with a branding specialist to help you create your IG as a business page and a website? Okay. Yes. I have a branding specialist that works full time with me. And he does all my graphics and everything for my website, business page, and Instagram. <clears throat> I did that just like eight months ago. And um, I, 
if you don't have the funds to do that right now, like I don't think everybody needs to do that, like honestly, because I think so much of it can be done on your own right now. And, but I think it's smart to get a photo shoot done, know exactly, you know, in that part of knowing who you are, know your color scheme, know your fonts that you want to use when you're doing graphics. There's a ton of apps out there that you can use like Canva, Canva is C-A-N-V-A, and you can use that Canva app to make your own graphics and use the same font all the time, use the same color scheme all the time, and it's very inexpensive to do that. Uh, but there's also brand, like this, uh, you know, there's different branding specialists out there, but you know, I know some of them will charge upwards of $20,000 just just to you know, do a strategy session with them. Did I? So when I first started my business, I didn't even have an Instagram and I didn't have a Facebook. Okay, so I created all of them from the ground up, and I really started to focus in on Instagram in the last uh, nine months. Okay, so I got late to the game on Instagram for real, uh, but I've been very consistent with it, and it's been growing, 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 growing like wildfire. Uh, and you can, when your Instagram page, when you post your Instagram, it'll automatically post to your Facebook fan page for you. So that's amazing because it takes some of the work out for you. And then you just have to make a different post for your personal page. Okay. Uh, but what I wanted to tell you guys about this, if you want to grow your Instagram being, you know, knowing who you are and knowing your avatar, go out there and do your research on the hashtags that your avatar is looking at. And this is going to take major time. I, and you're constantly having to do this because, you know, uh, the use of hashtags will change. You don't want to use the same hashtags all the time because Instagram will actually put you lower on the algorithm. If you use the same copy and paste hashtags every single post, they're actually, Instagram catches on and they don't want that because they want you to pay to play. So you need to make sure that you're constantly changing up your hashtags. Never use more than 30 hashtags per post, Okay. Never do more than 30 hashtags per post. And every post that you do, this is how you're going to be um, really, you know, getting a lot of new people is, and also by knowing your avatar. So you should know where your avatar shops. My avatar loves to shop at Nordstrom because of all the different brands they can find. So I'm always shopping at Nordstrom. I'm always tagging Nordstrom in my photo that I'm posting. And I'm, I'll am i tag uh, the maker of this this sweater. I'm going to tag if my kids are ever wearing target or, you know, whatever brand my kids are wearing, I'm targeting that brand or tagging that brand. Um, I'm tagging all different types of different Instagram accounts that I can find that are similar to mine. I'm going to tag them because then maybe they'll give me a shout out, which I've had that happen before. And I got um, a couple followers from that or, um, they, you'll just show up on the, their tagged photo section and you may get followers from that. Because let's say, you know, somebody like me, I follow Nordstrom. Well, I'll go and look at Nordstrom's page, but I'll also look at their tag photos to see how other people are wearing their clothes. And so I may follow a person that I like that just tagged Nordstrom. And that's how you get more followers, okay? So hopefully that is makes sense to you. Um, but in, in saying all of that, that's how you're going to get new followers. But you have to know your avatar. You have to know where they shop, what they love to eat where they love to travel, all that kind of stuff, because then you can tag, tag, tag away, okay, in those photos that you, you are posting, okay? And you have to have to um, always get engagement on every post that you're in. So that's actually something I'm going to end with right now is if you're not in an Instagram pod, and I'm going to explain what that is right now, you need to get one, okay? So an Instagram pod, you can also have Facebook pods too. But social media platforms realize that if you're getting comments on your post, that your post is interesting and that other people on the platform that may not be your followers yet need to see what you have to say. So this is how you land on the explore page. If you get a ton of engagement within the first hour of your post, you're going to land on the explore page on Instagram. And this is also how it's happening on Snapchat right now too. So an Instagram pod is this. And I'm in um, just one, but I'm going to offer this to you guys right now. If you guys want to be on an Instagram pod, please comment in here and we'll get an Instagram pod going just for you guys that hopped on this webinar. Uh, and in this Instagram pod, 
you, what you would do is you link your brand new Instagram post and we'll all go and comment right away, you know, within the hour to create engagement. Okay. And so if you're, if you commit to being in a pod like this, um, either you have to have your assistant be running this for you or you're running it yourself and just know like, Hey, like if you want to build a social media, um, it's not easy. You, you've got to like put in the work. But what I do is when I know I'm going to make a post, I always set out an hour right after I'm making a post. So that way I can be very engaged with anybody that likes or comments my photo on my photos. So I'm always commenting back right away because when that happens, if people see that, you're going to go on the explore page. You're going to get more followers. You're going to be higher up on the algorithm of the people that already follow you. So it's very important that you're getting comments. It's very important that you're engaging with your audience. And if you're Switzerland, nobody's going to be engaged with you. Okay. So that's why you have to stand for something and give something, give your followers something to talk about. Give them a reason to answer to you. I heard it's better to copy posts from Insta to Facebook, not share through Instagram. Is that not true anymore? No. Because what you're going to do is your Instagram is now going to be attached to your Facebook business page. So it's absolutely fine. Nobody sees your Facebook business page posts. Nobody sees them literally because I because Facebook wants you to pay to play on there. So just think of your Facebook business page as a business card. So you need to have posts on there so that way people can go on there and see what you're about. But not a lot of people are going to see that. So you are going to still have to go onto your Facebook personal page and make a different post, but it should be a different post anyway, because you're talking to a different audience. Okay. So you're gonna to have to change your wording around. You can use the same picture, but definitely, you know, change your wording around. Do you follow a schedule with posting twice a week or every other day? Okay. Mary Kate, very good question. I answered this earlier and what it is is you have to post every 24 hours. If twice, if you're only posting twice a week, nobody's seeing your post. Like honestly, like nobody's seeing your post except for people that like go and like search you out. Okay. And um, so one thing that you're going to learn is you have to be a content creating queen. Okay. I plan out all of my posts. You guys have maybe heard me say this before. I've been doing it for years. That's why my, my uh, social media is finally blowing up because I've been consistent. Doesn't, this doesn't happen overnight. Every Sunday plan out my posts. I know I already have my pictures ready and I already have my content ready to go. And different days I'm posting at different times because of the engagement, because Instagram and Facebook will tell you when are the best times to post for you specifically, because it's different for every person. So that's a very good question. Yes. The Instagram pod, please. Okay, cool. We'll get you in there. Scotty girl. Yay, Amanda. Okay. Uh, all right. So for those of you guys that want to be in an Instagram pod, uh, we will definitely be, um, creating that for you. You're going to have to download a certain app and we'll teach you guys how to do that. But we're really excited. Um, just know that if you commit to it and people are going and commenting on your posts and then you're not commenting on their posts, know that you're going to be taken out of the group because we need a hundred percent like to do this. Could you imagine if all of you guys got on so much engagement, we'd all be on the explore page. How fun is that? Right. And the last thing I want to end with is this. Some people don't comment on other people's posts because you're scared that your followers are going to see that you commented on somebody that may be your competitor. Okay. Know this right now. There's no such thing as competition in the business world. You're, you're you and I'm me and the right people are going to like me. The right people are going to, for you are going to like you. They're not going to like me. Okay. But when you come to collaborate and we can all work together and really lift each other up and shout each other out and have that abundant mindset and not be scared at all, like seriously, beautiful things happen. More amazing people are going to come into your life. I promise you this. I promise you this. And you just, it's going to be so amazing. I can't even like explain it to you. Okay. So get rid of that fear. There is so much to go around you guys. There are billions of people that are using social media every single day. And you guys have an opportunity to create something massive and get your message out there with the world. But I'm telling you right now, you can't do it alone. You, you see people with 100,000 followers, they didn't get there by just being them. They got there with other people shouting them out. They got there from you know, different platforms, giving them a voice. It didn't happen because they were just a one and done person. They, they got, you know, they got help from other people. And so we have to help each other and help each other rise up. So really just um, embrace that and be excited about it. 
And I'm so excited for these pods too. So again, Amanda, a pod is, you're just getting like, it's like a little group message basically. And somebody will comment in there and tell, tell you when they posted. And then as soon as they post, you go and comment on their post within the hour. So it's just, and you want to make sure too, not to have it be emojis. So if you comment on somebody's stuff, you want it to be words, at least four words that you're commenting. Be like, oh my gosh, I love this pic. Okay. So that way it's actually, that shows Instagram. Wow. This is really good content. Okay. Uh, so oh, there's so much you guys on social media, but those are really the three things. People think you have to have perfect pictures on Instagram and it's not really true. If you have good content and you are engaging and you're giving your audience what they want to see from you, you're, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. Okay. So put yourself out there, know who you are, know exactly who you're targeting, give them all the goods, constantly be solving their problems, show them how you are the fixer of their problem and be so consistent. So every 24 hours, you guys have it planned out and always be congruent in your life online and offline. Uh, you guys will be getting that questionnaire on Monday. Be looking forward to it. You guys are going to be the first people to get it. I am so thankful that you hopped on and know that Mommy Millionaire is going to be bringing you so many amazing, amazing, amazing speakers and trainers and all of the best tips out there to help you guys build a business and help you build up your self-esteem so you can really impact the world. Okay? Love you guys so much. Thanks for hopping on. Have an amazing Valentine's Day. Bye, guys.